Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty with uh, the Launch Code mission, which I think is one of uh, the next uh, diplomatic missions. Anyways, we gotta get uh, Ravi Chaudi for the New Jericho Council out of a... Um, Sinaidran facility and we got the C team for that With all of its glory the two manticores that are here We got ourselves uh, Steven, oh, yeah, that's the team with the continuous regeneration of will points. I like it. That is really good uh, Keen eye Kyle Keen, I, I think we wanted to go into Ignore Pain next. That'll allow us to continue shooting. In Civinci, we really can't take anything. Induce Panic is a bit too expensive. Backbiter uh, with the um, Sniper. Infiltrate the sniper combo. I think we're going with Ma master marksman By the way out of interest No spotted enemies within 10 tiles. Okay, cool. Well, that works when we're far enough away The other option is deploy three spider drones, which I would love to do as well But I don't think we do have enough spider drones here. And so far, I believe the only thing that's missing is let's manufacture that one, two, three, four, five, just in case. Yeah, Vanessa is good. I don't know if we really need the shotgun. I don't think so. We're waiting for the second class here and we're definitely waiting for the second class here as well. Okay, cool. Team looks ready. Let's deploy the squad. All right, we landed. So we're fighting against the Sinidron. That means long range attacks from their side. Very accurate weapons and a lot of poison plus infiltrators. That's their speciality, which for us means we want to fight inside of the buildings. Ravi here seems to be our VIP. And we need to get him all the way to the exit zone. Well, it can't be that hard, can it? Check out, is there anyone up here? No, not yet. Okay, cool. I'm going in. Let's see if this here is going to get the guys out. Ready to go to work. Moving all the way back. Asian cow would be our berserker that is going to go in and lead the charge going forward. Kyle Keenice is going to stay right behind full cover. I'll keep my I know how open. many snipers they have, but I am deeply afraid that they do have some. Ok, 
Okay. Good. Here we go. Well, we found the first sniper, I would say. Termination orders loaded. That's uh, a infiltrator. So two enemies so far. Just like we discussed. I don't think they want to talk. Another sniper. And that is what I was afraid of. Just a lot of snipers. That's a vehicle. Not good. And another sniper. Wow, this must be quite a full map. I'm getting the vibes that this is a hornet's nest. Activating scanners. More assaults. Oh boy. Good, with the head disabled. We're not regaining our willpower. My turn. Let's make this happen. There. Operative on the move. All right, moves up. I think we're just going to take the arm down. To be fair, we can simply kill him. Heals himself. Moving to position. And Vanessa. Gets rid of this guy. We do have a vehicle somewhere. Five by five. Aiming. All right, Kyle. Ready to engage. Starts to aim, but just doesn't seem to hit. It's a difficult shot. Why can't I hit oh! anything? Apparently he has hit their pistol. Not sure if I should be happy about that because now only the sniper rifle is left over. I'm here. Sure thing. Don't need the assault. I want the snipers. Target hit. Good, we disabled the arm. Oh, that's a good shot.
I like the idea of being in full cover here. And we've hit at least one person with a war cry. Pretty sure we hit whoever is in here as well. Identifying target. Hmm. Oh, that's one hit. Two hits. Taking aim. <laughs> Take that. This wasn't planned. He's we bleeding go. and we're moving into cover. Okay, cool. This guy's dangerous if his uh, if the darts are hip, uh, hitting we're getting almost oh, instantly no, paralyzed not again not good connection established by the way the way that just environmental damage works uh, we had that in that other mission where a single pistol shot basically eroded the foundation and everything was just falling into pieces i don't know if i'm a big fan of uh, the environmental damage here but yes the sniper shot can be quite devastating and if you look at l larger caliber sniper shots they can even like rip trees apart yes okay that that's fair it's not uh, incorrect but they generally do like a, a hole a moderate sized hole they will not completely um, dismantle the tree if that would be the case then uh, tree logging companies wouldn't use huge cranes but they would essentially deploy snipers to just clear the forest and then get the trees off of the hill right so something is a little bit off here just saying good we can't yet again shout so i wonder if we just recover i think that's the right call here we're moving up And in parts, we're also rushing up. Very good. So that's already one down. Problem is there's still a big fat vehicle in there. So many enemies. Uh, well, ready. let's go. Damn it. They hit us, but we do not hit them. That's unfortunate. Missed. That's it. I'm dead out here. Do we have a plan? Good. Snipers are continuing to withdraw. I'll try to stop them. Ready for action. All right. 
Alright, moving up. And moving back. Same deal here. Vanessa moves up. Let me go just a step further forward. Thank you. Ah! Moving now. And moving back. This is a real problem. Not sure how we're going to deal with it yet. Identifying target. Three sniper shots and we miss all three of them. That's un unfortunate. Could have been much better, but okay, it is what it is. As long as we keep line of sight and are fighting around this corner, we should be fine. The problem is fighting against enemies that I don't see. Sanhedrin has really, really accurate weapons. <laughs> And loves to issue headshots, as you can see. Escalating aggression. Arms online. I should have frenzied first. Standing by. That indeed was an oversight. Yeah. All I need is a clear shot. Asian cow Got moves in. I'm on the move. On my way. That car or combat vehicle is super oppressive. Watch out, so we got one, two, three, four, five, two more out there. Incy Vincy carefully like moves to the stairs. That might be a place where he could be helpful. What are we doing? Carl moves up. Oh. Hits this guy. Oh wait, is he down? Yeah, he's down. Okay, cool. Which means of line of sight on Kyle is also broken. Not now, please. I hope this helps. Heals up, and I would say we're just overwatching with a sniper they for can now. Be anywhere.
Okay. Oh! Let's take this guy out. And we're pushing ourselves behind cover. Reload. Enemy contact. Um. Ready to fire. Hmm. That assault. I would like him to slow down. Since he's hit from behind, he's dazed. Here and we go. we're going back into cover. Identifying target. How does that ah, ah. Good, Vanessa is the mechanic. Moving to position. Moves up. Ready to fire. Nice. And hits hits the thruster very well. Oh! Not enough. This wasn't planned. Good. We disabled the arm. This guy should bleed out. Nice. We got return fire. I love it. He will die next turn for sure. Ran through fire. That was a stupid idea. There's still one infiltrator over here. Okay, and now finally they show themselves. Incy Vinci gets the unique chance to 100 to 0 one person. Fantastic. Lovely. What's our plan? Oh! Same de deal Don't here. Oh! Unfortunately, just not a one hundred to zero. What's needed? Russell moves work. up. Down. And luckily for us, Sinidran actually has very low armor. That's the huge advantage for us. We want to get rid of the guns. Piercing 60, paralysis 24 shots. That's where the problem is coming from, right? Confirming target. Yeah. Shielding. Hull. Well, the hull is a problem as well, but I think the shielding could use even more armor penetration.
Almost. Kill ah! Yeah, it's me. Preparing to fire. Let's go. Just a bit off. Right there. And back into cover. Eighty hit points. Oh yeah, I mean he's dead. Just trying to spread panic, really. Good. Without the thrusters, he can move much less. Guy's already dead, and both of them are panicked. So instead, let's just deal damage there. Cool. from behind means stays. <laughs> and sometimes it also means just good old plain dead. There's still one infiltrator somewhere over here. But I think we're fine. There they are. At least we know their exact location now. No, correction, there is yet another one. Point taken. Um, we're moving over. I've got a visual ready to fire. This will daze him. And this means not that dangerous for us anymore. Leaving loud and clear. Comes the Phoenix. Oh. I 
Incy Vincy moves up and yeah we're still war crying two of them Moving up further, this time into half cover. Okay, just barely out of range barely Okay. In a turn. Connection established. There is still one of their stupid infiltrators. Five by five. Almost, not quite, but almost. Let's show them what we can do. Good work. Oh, there we go. Finally. Ah, ah. Must focus. Ah. Okay, so that guy is down as well. Means all we need to do is get to the exit. Oh! By the way, easier said than done, because of course the exit is Sprinting super far away. But yeah, that incendiary grenade turned out to be quite helpful. In the end. Open. Saved us a lot of trouble. Uh, uh. Run my way. Yeah, that really guy can't rock. really shoot back. And most certainly not when we're destroying their equipment. Let's do this. Vanessa moves up. Acquiring ah, ah. Attempting to reposition. And Asian Cow moves up. It's almost like the squad team. Ah. Ah. Moving forward in real time. Our big advantage was taking it into close quarters and not fighting 
on the big field. I mean, just look at that. We I'll try and get there. fought like 15 of them. And the snipers are actually really hitting quite hard. So two of them focusing on a single operator for ours means we would almost be dead. If not dead. War Scream, as always, was an absolute winner ability like that one, which I think hit six or seven. This is so much. Think about six enemies being hit by War Scream. It means you've just wasted 12 action points. It's an incredibly strong ability. This team here in particular is typically not the most sturdy one. It wants to fight in long range, so it's cool to see that they can also kind of withstand a bit of a beating. Moving to position. Moving in. And since vehicles count for three, technically we potentially fought against more than 15 enemies. More than 18. But then again, the moment that they couldn't use their stupid guns, I really had no chance. Ravi, by the way, also got some experience here. Cool. New Jericho is now allied with the Phoenix Project and will cooperate in finding a solution for the Pandoran threat. Phoenix may now actively participate in New Jericho's research projects. We are proceeding with a debriefing of Ravi Chowdhury. It's going fine so far. Although there are certain issues he remains quite tight-lipped about. We have a detailed file on his work prior to the last war, but there are several blank areas in the documentation. If you would be happy to provide some details in the spirit of mutual cooperation, that would be most beneficial to our efforts and to Chowdhury himself. If he... All right. Remarkable. It looks like Chowdhury helped your operatives prevent World War III from going nuclear. What an accomplishment. Perhaps I've been too dismissive of the man, treating him as no more than a source of information. How can he trust us? If we don't respect him, I'll have to try a different approach. Congratulations on the success of this mission. As usual, the Phoenix project is reliable and effective. Ravi Chowdhury has now been safely delivered to our secure facilities, and our investigators will begin his debriefing immediately. Chowdhury's knowledge of the Indian nuclear program is essential to the plan. Hopefully, we can convince him to assist us. It would be a matter of deep regret if we had to use force. Reason, as Tobias says, always has to be our first option. Cool. Tech, material, and food. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? In terms of research, Wall of Jericho project. Sometimes all solutions are the best solutions with an increase of the Pandoran uh, activity. Havens become more and more vulnerable for the protection of humanity. Tobias West has ordered general improvements to Haven fortifications. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, I generally like that idea. So you gotta capture an acid worm. And yeah, we got to capture quite a bit. Okay. 
fantastic. In terms of diplomacy, we're now allied, allied, and uh, Sinaldron is still supportive, I think. It's just a matter of defending their havens a bit better. Okay, we wanted to use team number three to get over here. They need a break. And they will defend whatever is available here. Helios flies up. Yeah, we wanted to do that. And we still had a couple of missions down here as well. Okay, cool. After several hours of exploration, nothing useful was found. Yeah, I remember we wanted to do that, 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 and then rest here. Two for twelve, good for me. And we're going to do that, I think, in the next uh, mission. It's going to be an easy, quick one. Yeah, looking at the time, I think we're going to do that the next uh, mission. Unfortunately, not enough time now. Overall, team four. That's the one. Still looks okay. We get some experience there. Do we already have new recruits? No, still in two days. Like I said, no time is passing. We're just playing it too intense. Mind sense, really good ability. I don't know about bloodlust. So yeah, next time we're going to go for the scavenging site and then we'll do another extra mission because those are typically short. Uh, potentially something, maybe, I don't know, down there. Uh, maybe we're even going to do that mission next. Uh, next episode yeah, we're almost uh, there so that's not a bad idea good guys thank you so much for watching as always stay safe and have a great day see you in two days bye bye